So my New Year's resolution this year was to keep my coins in my pocket. Hey guys, if you follow me on Instagram, then you've already seen this amazing hair. But if you want to know more about my Peak Mill inspired fro, stay tuned. I'm just going to answer some questions that you might have about this hair. is two packs of Moisture Remy Rain three piece jerry curl hair. Two full packs because in one pack it's a full head solution. Like you can finish your head with one pack. But I was inspired by Peak Mill and her hair was super full. So I decided to make mine super full and just go for two packs. I thought it even went for probably like two and a half, but no. This is 100% human hair. You can dye it, you can straighten it and curl it, bantu knot it, whatever you want to do to the hair. The colors that I have this hair in is a 1B and a 1, and I kind of like mix it all around because it, that's all they have, like all they have is color number 1 and one color number 1B. Okay, so since this is a video on a budget series, I'm going to come and tell you guys how much this hair actually costs. Believe it or not, for my full head to be done, it would have been $26.99, but since I wanted to make it extra full, it all came up to about $53. Yes, $53 for this beautiful, soft human hair. The hair was amazing. It really worked well. It didn't give me too many problems or anything like that. But after I dyed it, I did realize that I got a lot of tangling in the back. But the most you want to do with this hair when it starts to tangle is just wet it down with water. This is wet and wavy hair. You don't really need like product and conditioner and all of that. I would say co-wash it three, every three days, every three to five days. And between that, if you want to refresh it and make it look super curly, just wet it with water. I actually have a synthetic option for you ladies who want to spend a lot less money. So here's the unit. I am going to put it on. So this is made with Freetra's Movie Kinky Twist Hair. I used two packs, I cut each pack in half, and instead of, and this is actually a crochet wig. Instead of crocheting it in a way where I'm tying the hair in half, and I'm using half the length, this is what I did. It's like one long piece. Yeah, I've been wearing this wig, so I'm starting to tangle a little bit. So it's like one long piece, and then this little short piece. So that's how I tied it, and that's how I crocheted it. So that I preserved the length and I could use a lot less hair. So this hair ran for me $9 a pack, $8.99. So what I do to secure my wigs and make them tight is I attach a drawstring, a regular drawstring ponytail, and I draw it in. And then I just tuck it inside of my wig. So yeah, this is how the hair looks. This is the color number two. And this is half of the length of the hair. I think it comes like 22 inches or something like that. But this is it cut in half, and I showed you guys how I attached it. And this is how I did the part. All I did was the regular way that I told you I crocheted it. I crocheted one long piece and one short piece, and all the short pieces kind of like cover up my hair. And around the edges, I kind of like crocheted on the actual band of the wig like that to try to cover it.